God damn it, zombies. This isn't a thriller here. I stopped for one second. Damn it. All we're missing now is Michael Jackson. So many of them. It's so loud, too. Jeez. Give me a second to talk, will you? There we go. Okay, I should, uh... One sec. I'll do my intro in a second. Let's just stop these guys from being a pain in the butt. <sighs> Alright, welcome back to Ruins of the Minecrackers. Um, last session we ended off kind of abruptly. Um, my dad came home and uh, I think I mentioned that I usually let him use the computer when he's home. So I like stop recording right here and like, a trail of zombies are coming after me. So uh, you should see this video immediately because I've been doing one episode a week. But this is actually, let's see, what date is it today? 12th of August. This is like a month after the last session since I recorded. So uh, give me a second to get reacquainted here. Yeah, a month later. Remember, I remember um, I was talking about exams. So I had like just finished exams so I could record more. Yeah, I kind of forgot I had a, a course to do in the summer in school so I had to stop recording for a while it just basically was uploading and stuff I had to stop recording to deal with uh, classes in the summer but that's all over now and we can get back to fighting more mobs but like I said for you that's pretty much gonna be instantaneous because I got enough footage to last me exactly to when exams are finished I don't know how that worked out well some of the episodes were a bit shorter than normal because I don't know, I could have stretched the episodes, I just didn't feel like it. Mm. It worked out better to have it shorter like that. And my volume is still kind of loud. Anything in here? Coal? Alright, oh, yeah, I remember. I remember this area. Oh, that's nice. Lots of sticks. So before we venture in and attack this tower here, let's talk a little bit. Um, what did I do? I just ran in a straight line and I came here. Uh, did I check his chest? That's not a bow. Don't blow up that chest. Oh, come on. So, um... It took a little while for me to decide. I actually finished my summer course about two weeks ago. Maybe a little bit... Ooh. Maybe a little... I'll come back for that. Yeah, I probably finished a little bit longer than that, but, uh... I don't know, I kind of needed some inspiration to start back recording. Because, um, it could get a little bit grindy playing, like, the CTM maps. Uh, especially if you play, like, multiple of them, which I was doing. But, uh, I'm playing, um, Ragecraft 2 as well right now. And just because, I don't know, I need to get back in the mood to record. So I was just playing, like, another CTM map. Didn't record that one. I was just playing that one for fun. So, again, I just ran in a straight line and lit this up. Um, okay. Did I show that? That's my mood. I remember showing that the first time I recorded. I'm not sure if I did it in this one. Yeah, it's kind of like upside down, but yeah. Yeah, that's my mood. Like I said, I use a custom texture pack, so I have like a lot of stuff like that. So let's get ready to take on this tower here. I think I could just more or less just run straight up here, can I? Yeah, I've gotten a bit better at it as well. As the CTM maps. After watching like oh, no sword. I have to put that in a chest, that's a special item. I'll come back and break that. More ninja spiders. Oh, this is bow. Hmm, nice. I like forgot like what all my armor and stuff are. Oh damn! Oh, oh that hurt. Okay, back away, back away. I'm not moving so slow. Oh right, um. 
while I was playing Ragecraft, um, they had this thing where they give you items like, I'll give you a sword, and the sword has like plus 7% speed on it. And so you could like run around really fast just by holding your sword in your hand. I kind of got used to that. I'm still playing the map right now. I have like one more intersection to go. Jeez, that's a lot of mobs. Damn, they ran me over. Oh, uh, speaking of running over, it wouldn't be the first time. Um, I haven't talked about myself a lot in recording, so let's do a little bit of that. Um, as I mentioned, the whole running over by cars. One thing you'll probably learn about me in the future is that uh, I like Pharrell. You're even a drop. I like Pharrell injury prone. I'm very injury prone. I'm pretty sure I've had more injuries than I've had for. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, one thing that had happened um, mainly, is mainly leg injuries I get, and uh, one thing that happened was like a couple of years ago I was going to school, and it was a Monday, school had just finished, and I was like walking out with some friends to get transport, and um, this guy, um, one of my friends and I just decided to have like a little race, and we just like ran down the street. And as we got to the street, we stood and we just like sat on the floor and started waiting for more of our friends to come. And this random guy just like strolling along, walks by and he's just like, uh, Hey, what are you doing there? And he's like, eh, yeah, doing nothing there. He's like, uh-huh. But it's all there, doing nothing. And pure your pockets now. And we just watch him. Watch each other. Watch him. Watch each other. Oh, damn. And then we just like, both of us just like get up. And the thing is, he approached us and one of my friends has a in hand. And he just watching me, like, what are you going to do with that stick? What are you going to do with that stick? And he grabbed his stick from him. And my friend is watching. Okay, wait, Titma. Titma now. And my other friends catch up. There are two more of them and they catch up. And they're kind of... So I need to run up here. These zombies keep going. And they, like, they realize what's going on. And I'm just like, okay, well... It's kind of like a 4v1 fight now, so GG. And um, the thing is, I had my phone in my hand, and like he realized that, and realized now it's 4v1, so he like pushes me, grabs my phone, and takes off running. So I like run behind him. Uh, he runs across the street, and I run across the street after him, and uh, that's when I got hit. It wasn't anything serious, I just like flew a couple feet forward. And he got away with my phone, so it wasn't like an expensive phone or anything, so it didn't bother me that much, but I still like lost my phone. And uh, it took me about a week to recover from that injury. Okay, yeah. It took me like a week to get to like recover from that injury. And uh, so the following Monday, I'm all recovered, I'm healthy, and I'm going back out to school. And, uh, and same thing, we had an exam that day, we finished the exam, and then we, and then we headed on out to walk out to transport again. And as we're walking out to transport, um, there was like a crack in your road. Any pavement that made you have to like step in your road to go around it because like when rain fall it would like fill up with water and you wouldn't be able to walk through it you'd have to like walk around it and so i didn't really see it as a big deal i mean i could see cars coming towards me and it's like no cars coming towards me so i'm like yeah i'm fine and i go to like step in your road to step around it apparently another car in the other lane realized that no cars were coming either and so he like crosses Why explode? And so he like decides to like try and overtake just as I step in the road. And he hits me flush. Like he hit me from behind and like the tire like practically stopped on my leg, on my foot itself. And he had to like reverse off and whatnot. It's, yeah, it was pretty painful. And um well, after that, you know, he came out to make sure I was okay, everything, and, um, is this a wall? Oh yeah, Michael's head. 
thought his head was in the house. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Well, we're dead. We got his head. So like, yeah, and I got... It hurt oh, like a lot, and they wanted to carry me to like doctors and whatnot, but I turned them down because they didn't really like hurt that bad at the time. And um, it didn't hurt that much at the time. And so I'm walking in now because we have to go by the police station to report it. And as we're walking in, I just like tap my friend on the shoulder because I noticed like I, it's getting like hard to see. And it's like, um, nice. My eyes open, right? And he's like, yeah, well, I'm like, Ooh, we have a problem. Like, what? What happened? He's like, um, I can't see shit, dude. And he's like, don't, oh, boss, don't, don't shit, mom, now. You're lying, you're lying. Mm. And he's just like waving his hand in front of me and nothing is happening. And I'm just like, I can feel your hand there. I don't see it. And instantly, uh, we had a teacher with us too at the time I got hit. And she just like started to panic about it. Called like the principal and all kind of thing. And um, so they're like, there's a pharmacy nearby, and they just put me to lie down by the pharmacy. And um, they got me some water, made me sit down and drink the water. And then after I like sat down and drank the water, I tried to open my because I didn't open my eyes again after that because I was worried I was just gonna keep opening my eyes and not see anything. And so eventually I did uh, open my eyes and I could see again. So that was a little bit of a relief. I'm just gonna leave this chest here with stuff. So yeah, uh, I did suffer a bit of nerve damage in my leg, and my leg like twitching a lot, and my leg hasn't been the same since well, the numerous injuries I've had, but they are pretty strong because of the amount of injuries, but uh, I think it's kind of like you saw in Naruto with Rock Lee, where he would keep like breaking his leg over and over again so it would like, grow back stronger. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing, but if it is, it's working for me. Zisto, you, my man. The e-breaker. The greatest prank of them all.